Hello, welcome back, and today I'm going to be answering the question, who is Gabri Vega, and why he's being chased by Europe's elite? Remember to subscribe if you are new, smash that like button, but anyway, let's get this party started. Born in El Perino on the 27th of May 2002, Gabriel Vega Nunes is a Spanish under 21 year old footballer who plays for Celta Vigo. Vega began his career at local side Santa Marina but was ultimately snapped up by Celta Vigo at a young age, making his debut for Celta Vigo B against Nacional at 17 years old. Vega scored his first goal just four months later. Less than a year later, Vega made his debut for the senior side in a 2-1 win over Valencia, and two weeks later he made his first start in a 3-0 defeat to Ronald Koeman's Barcelona. Over the next two seasons, Vega stayed with the first team, but largely featured for the reserves, coming of age in the 21. 22 season where he's directly involved in 10 goals in 31 appearances and captaining in the side on a few occasions. But Vega has truly broken out this season, featuring in an all but one match for Celta Vigo, scoring eight goals and registering three assists in just 24 La Liga appearances. But where does he play? Gabri Vega is a central midfielder. In terms of attributes, he's like a classic English box-to-box -box midfielder. He covers the ground exceptionally well with great athletic and physical attributes. He's an aggressive presser. He's got dangerous attacking movement with a great understanding of space and he scores goals. What's more is Vega is a powerful ball carrier and has got very good tactical awareness. Very much an offensive number eight for Celta Vigo, Vega spends a lot of time in the inside right channel. Whilst he will get involved in build-up play, when he does, he keeps it quite safe and simple with his passing. In more advanced areas, like in the middle third, Vega will get involved in combination play, and he uses his technical skill by playing quickly and accurately, often with a one touch. But most of his progression comes through carries. He uses his body well to protect the ball and there's a turn of pace to burst past challenges. By opening the game up through carries, Vega often follows up with more expansive play, either playing through balls and behind, or if he's closer to goal, sending in crosses or taking shots himself. In fact, in La Liga this season, no midfielder has more carries that have ended in a shot or chance creation than Gabri Vega. Not a creative playmaker, Vega is more of a finishing midfielder. His off the ball movement is superb, he's got a great understanding of space and he times his runs well. Notably, he makes third man runs, usually finishing off a flowing move. Vega's three goals from inside the box is the third most amongst central midfielders in La Liga this season. His second goal against Real Betis really highlights his style of play, picking up the ball just inside the Betis half. Vega turns and quickly finds Aspas, who slips Larson in behind with a through ball. Larson then cuts the ball back along the six yard area for Vega to storm in and finish. This goal showcases strengths, first attracting a marker which frees up Aspas to receive, then making up 30 yards of ground to arrive at the perfect moment to finish off a cross with his weaker left foot. Whilst this goal was a simple finish, his first goal of the game was an impressive lob that showcased his technical skills, giving a glimpse of his attacking potential. Defensively, Gabri Vega is a very aggressive front-footed player, a very intense presser. Vega is quick to close down the play. Whilst he can be overeager and get bypassed, his work rate is infectious and can often drag teammates to join the press. If he can regain the ball quickly, Vega's ability to carry an off the ball movement makes him a big threat in the transition. Vega's impressive physicality and surprisingly stocky body shape makes him good when he slows down and he can use his strength to win the ball back. In La Liga this season, Vega's averaging 3.3 tackles per 90, winning a respectable 62% of these challenges. On top of his pressing and goal scoring game, Gabri Vega is also tactically very intelligent and aware. For Celta Vigo, he operates a lot on the inside right channel, but if the winger drifts inside, Vega is comfortable moving wide and becoming the nominal winger. He's also happy moving away from a teammate in possession to maintain separation and a progressive passing option. Whilst this might not sound a lot, tactical intelligence is hard to teach and is often what holds good players back from being at the very top level. 
So what's next for the Celta Vigo man? Just 20 years old and still his first proper full season of professional football, Vega should be in no rush to play at the peak of European football. He's still quite a raw player and can improve in passing, decision making and by slowing himself down when pressing. That being said, under the right management and with the right coaching, Gabri Vega will become a very complete midfielder. Needing more time on the ball, moving to a club that dominates more matches will be great for his development, but moving somewhere that suits the rest of his game is just as important. He's ready-made for Diego Simeone's Atletico and could fill in all across the midfield. I could very much see him starting in the wide areas where his crossing mobility and off-the-ball movement could be utilised before eventually be moving into a central midfield position. A more exciting option would be moving to Borussia Dortmund, the place to go for European development. The gag and pressing nature of the Bundesliga would suit his skill set, whilst Dortmund's tendency to dominate most matches will help him round out his possession game. Vega could also replace Jude Bellingham, who looks ready for a move from the black and yellows. Manchester United will require some adaptation from Vega. At his best, operating in a 4-3-3 for Celta Vigo, Eric Ten Hag has favoured a 4-2-3-1. And I wonder if Vega is ready for either the number eight or attacking midfield roles. His arrival could signal a shift to a 4-3-3, but moving to a club where he could play his best position might not be the best use of his talents. Liverpool could snap at Vega as they try and rebuild their midfield. Vega's mobility, ball carrying and goal scoring talents are sorely lacking from the midfield and Klopp would turn him into a pressing monster whilst rounding out his game. But arguably the best next step could be Newcastle United. Vega isn't ready to play for the very best, but Newcastle aren't at that level either. What's more is that Eddie Howe's Gagan pressing 4-3-3 is tailor-made for his skill set, and Vega's ability to score goals is a big weakness for the Magpies. This move would give Vega time to adapt to the Premier League, and with a big ceiling, the Spaniard could grow the Magpies into a Champions League club. But anyway guys, what do you think? Where should Gabri Vega move after Celta Vigo? Let me know in the comments below. Check out SofaScore and we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, why not check out some more content on the Statman Dave YouTube channel?